Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, and I'm back with another video. Today, I am reviewing uh, LEGO Star Wars set 75209 Han Solo's Land Speeder. Uh, this was this is, uh, this set has 345 pieces. It's ages 7 to 12, and it was really fun to build. Um, before I actually review the thing, uh, I just want to say Happy Mother's Day, everybody. It's Mother's Day while recording this, so yeah. Um, I have I'm gonna have other reviews on the other sets that I got from Plattsburgh up today. I'm recording. I'm gonna record them right after this. This is the first one, so um, yeah. Let's go. So um, here's the set. It's really nice. I really enjoyed building this. The detail is really good. So um, we're gonna start. Uh, with the features. So, uh, first one is, well, the spring-loaded shooters on the bottom, here and here. And if you push down on the side, if you push on the sides, they shoot. So, as you can see, they're no longer in here. So, um, yeah. Very cool. It actually comes with an extra one that you could store inside, but I'll show you that feature later. Um, then we have... A little storage compartment for something. Uh, I don't know what this is, but um, comes out of the back here. And you just put it in like so. Right here. And um, yeah, on to the last feature, which in my opinion will be mind-blowing for you guys. You could actually get, take the hood of the uh, cab off, revealing... The engine, which you could also take off, uh, a wrench, and in a little area to put your spring-loaded shooters. This one actually comes with the extra one, but I didn't want to put it in the video. So, um, yeah, you put your extra sh spring-loaded shooters in here, like so. But it falls out if you're holding it like this. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's got um, a little green area here. This is where you put the engine. More on that in a second. And um, yeah, overall, uh, oh yeah, you can put the blasters of the figures in here and uh, the wrench. So yeah, this is an overall very nice set. And um, yeah, I'm going to get to the uh, little engine. So um, here's the engine. It's pretty detailed. Um... There's not much to say about it. It's got uh, see-through uh, orange piece, so that's that's about it. But uh, but the the hood isn't complete unless you have the engine in. So if you put the engine back in, uh, you see this piece that's gonna pop up on the top, like so. Right here, but if you take the engine out, there's gonna be a gaping hole in the uh, hood right there. So, that's a little thing that you want to be careful of. And uh, you put take the wrench, you put it in uh, this little holder that's not the holder, you put it in this little uh, cargo area. So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now, um, we're gonna go on to the figures. So, first up, we have Han Solo. Uh, really nice. He's got, uh, his pants are dirty. Uh, he doesn't have his normal, uh, jacket that we see in episode 4, so... And by the time watching this, we ha I haven't seen Solo, A Star Wars Story yet, so... Yeah, I really like, uh, he has two faces. He has... A uh, smile face, like a casual face, and then uh, he has an angry face, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for him. I mean, he's got printing on the back, he's got printing on the legs, and what he got, what more can you want from a figure? He's got nice printing on everywhere, so, yeah. Next up, we have Kira. Now, she has an interesting hairpiece. Kind of looks like my sister's hair, not going to lie. Um, she has like a metallic 
silver, well not, yeah, metallic kind of silver uh, arms and torso. She's got a gray jacket on, red shirt, and her pants are also dirty, so well, why is everything dirty? Um, so yeah. And now we're going to get on to the Corellian Hound. Um, I personally don't like this figure. Um, it fits on a 1x2 area like any other dog figure. So. So. Pretty ugly. I really don't like it. Um, the eyes are on the side of its head. So, but I, I don't like it. I don't like that personally. Um, I just want to go into detail with this set. Uh, I really like all the greebling on the side. I think it's, it's greebling. I think that's how you say it. Anyways, there's a bunch on this side. So, and this side. The thing is, on the Hasbro's toys, there's not this, like, detailed bit of uh, machinery and whatnot. It's um, all like normal with the white going around. Even here, it would have the white going around and around here. So maybe that's hinting at the movie where this speeder gets into a battle and it like breaks a lot off. I don't know, Lego's spoiling things here. But um, yeah, anyway, so that's the Han Solo's land speeder set. Uh, number 75290. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the box. So here's the back of the box. It's pretty cool. Um, it shows all the features on the set. Uh, oh, yeah, there's also wheels. I'll get that to that in a second. Um, there's also Han Solo fixing Ren, uh, with the wrench. The, 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 with a wrench fixing the engine. Uh, there's the compartment here. And the Kira shooting at the Corellian Hound. Uh, which, also, I think this is on Corellia. I'm not sure. So, here's the front of the box. Very cool. I really enjoyed building the set. So, yeah, it's got the signature Solo A Star Wars Story logo on it. And on the top, we have the actual size of Han Solo. I like to do that, I don't know. It's fun to actually match up the size. So anyways, uh, now we're gonna go check out the wheels. Uh, they're very nice, so yeah. I'll show you guys that in a sec. Okay guys, so um, here's the speeder. And um, yeah, the wheels make a lot of noise. It uh, turns nicely, oh, Han fell out. <laughs> But uh, it's very nice, it's smooth, it's smooth, it goes far, kind of, you just one push, it goes uh, like a few meters, like a few centimeters, so it's pretty cool. So I really like how uh, easily it turns, like in the trailer, it like makes a sharp turn, like, me, huh, it's like this. So, that, that was the cool part of the trailer, so yeah. Overall, a very nice set. I enjoyed building it. I've got Han in there. So, yeah. Let's get on to the end of the video. Alright guys, so uh, overall, this was a very nice set to build. I really enjoyed it. The figures are nice, other than Corellian Hound. Like, I mean, that's technically a uh, minifig not just a fig, so, um, yeah, so, oh yeah, I also forgot, there's a, a little area behind the seats, I don't know if you can see it, but you can put the blasters here, if you don't want them to hold it, so, pretty cool, so, oh uh, yeah, but that's about it, guys, hope you enjoyed, and, um, yeah, I'll see you in my review on the Kai Lego Ninjago Spinji 2 Masters set. Owen, you want to come to the end of the video? Uh huh. All right. Say bye. Bye. Bye.